To assemble the ball valve, the technician places two rubber O-rings on top of an end cap. Next is a thick synthetic ring which will secure the ball in the valve. He seats the valve body over it. He cleanses the hollow steel ball and inserts it in the valve body. He stacks more rubber sealers, another synthetic sealer, and another end cap on top. He inserts long bolts into the four corners of the valve and secures them tightly with nuts to keep air from seeping into the valve. He attaches a handle to the stem protruding from the valve body. He installs a stop pin to prevent the handle from opening beyond a quarter turn. Finally, he tightens the nut that locks the handle to the valve stem. He now secures the ball valve in a vise to hold it steady while he tests its function. When the hole of the ball is aligned with flanges of the end caps, the valve is open, and when it's perpendicular to it, it's shut. Satisfied with its function, he transfers the ball valve to the laser engraver. The laser etches the serial number and other information onto the valve body. And now one final test. The technician connects the valve to a vacuum pumping system and activates a leak detecting device. While the pump draws a vacuum, he sprays helium gas onto the valve to detect any leaks. This ensures the valve will operate properly in a high vacuum environment. Some of these ball valves are manually operated and others are computerized. Both versions are designed to hold up to high vacuum conditions and handle the flow.